Hello everyone, I am Veos and welcome to another video. Uh, this time I want to go back into our like uh, sci-fi spaceship creation stuff. And I was thinking of doing something along the lines of uh, like a space miner. So let's go ahead and... Hmm, how am I going to do this? Um, a space miner, huh? Um, definitely would have to be brought up into space in a type of either a rocket or built in space but a space miner, like an asteroid miner. I'm thinking it's going to look, it's probably going to have arms, right? Or maybe, hmm, maybe it'll be a large ship, right? With maybe like uh, some sort of grappling hook on it, on the bottom, and just kind of wheels it in and starts munching on it. Like kind of like a Red Dwarf, which is an old uh, sci-fi comedy from the UK. Let me see here. Boy, I don't even know where to start with this one. Hmm. Hmm. Now that I think about it, I may have bitten off more than I can chew. Because mining operations aren't simple. They're fairly large. Space mining can only exceed that. Okay, so after pondering for a little while, I think I have a vague idea of how I want this to work. Mm, mm, mm. Now, since this is a civilian corporation mining craft, we don't have to really... We don't have to really worry about armor. It's not going to go into battle. But it will be armored in several areas because it is a very dangerous uh, industrial type of mining operation so you need some sort of uh, some sort of plating to protect you we're actually going to go for the big boy i think we're going to start off with the big boy yeah, yes look at that big boy damn boy damn boy he's thick boy so we're going to go for big boy uh let's see here i might go for her. to be honest let's see i don't know We'll see. We will see. Uh, I might go for something like this. And let's get the Rhino engines because they're pretty good for, uh, they're, they're pretty good for like, you know, just cruising around interplanetary without having to use, oh, you know what? That's right. I can use nuclear if I want to. Uh, nuclear is more efficient, but this thing is going to be heavy. Okay. Well, let's go nuclear. Nuclear. Let's go nuclear. Since this is like super space aged sci-fi, so we want to use all the good stuff. We're going to use the good stuff. One can imagine that maybe in the past they used to use big giant ships, like ship, ship engines like that, and then they kind of downsized. Here we go. Ooh, that's plenty. Okay. Uh, boy. I wish they had a larger nuclear engine. Like, you know, something like this, only the size of the Rhino. You know, it looks something like that, but it's nuclear. I know there's mods out there that do that, but damn, that'd be so much nicer, you know? Come on. Anyway, let's go for engine plate. Uh, I forget where the hell the engine plates are. Not ah, connectors. Okay. Okay. There we go. There we go. Ooh. What? Come on. How do you get rid of that completely? I do not know, but I do know that I can do this and get it completely out of the way. Right? Thank you. I mean, so far it's coming together. Uh, hmm. I, I kind of want to go for a um, very EVE Online, Myrmidon kind of thing going on. Because I think what I'll do is I'll have the bottom fin. It will actually open up to grab the asteroid. And then it'll start feeding off of it. Or something like that. Maybe it'll come forward or, or grab it or something. Like a pair of arms. And then this will be the crew area, because you have to remember it's a mining craft, so they're going to be in space for a very, very, very long time. And um, they're going to need plenty of room and supplies. Um, we're going to need to put a escape pod system on this thing somehow, and some docking and some maneuver thrusters. <laughs> okay, here we go. You've got to be kidding me, man. There's got to be a way to make this work. Hmm. Okay, hold on. I've got an idea. I've got an idea. Every big giant spaceship I've seen um, has like antennas in front of it. Cool factor. Antennas, huh? Okay. I can make some antennas, damn it. Alright. Uh, let's rethink this. Let's rethink this. Not quite sure what to do with the front just yet. Hmm. I'm sure it'll come to me, but uh, 
Right now I'm a little, don't really know what to do with this area just yet. Hello everyone, it's me. I'm going to go ahead and try to narrate what you see is going on before you. Now I had to use all of my concentration in order to work on this craft, so I wasn't able to narrate as I was building. I kind of knew what I wanted and what I was going for in the shape and the design of the craft, but I had to go through a lot of different parts in order to make it in, more, in order to make it work. There were some designs that uh, seemed like they were going to work at the time and then later on I went back and changed it again and again and again. Uh, it pretty much just the ship evolving uh, as it starts off with an idea and then slowly but surely turns into a turns into a digital reality. I mean, I have to say, it, it really did turn into something that looked really, really nice. And I'm not even done with it yet. There's going to be a part two coming out tomorrow. Uh, also, I do apologize. This, this weekend was absolutely hectic, and so I wasn't able to come out with the videos first thing in the morning like I normally do. But uh, I hopefully I'm going to get a kind of a regiment thing going on, a schedule where I'm able to put out videos on time every morning. Uh, I haven't quite figured it out yet, but it's it's coming together slowly. And surprisingly, um, I'm having a lot of fun making these videos uh, every day. You know, I, I, I make, uh, I record about an hour and a half worth of footage, and then uh, it takes about an hour and a half to put together, and then I schedule it to come out first thing in the morning. Um, so yeah, yeah th this is actually, this is, this is doing, blah, 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 going real nice, real nice, real nice. But anyway, uh, sit back and relax, and enjoy this uh, sped up footage of me trying to build this thing, because like I said before, I was so concentrated in building it, I didn't really uh, have any concentration left to narrate as I was building it so it's gonna be a little bit of a different video yeah okay so I will see you at the end of the video later Well, it's looking good so far. It's coming together pretty good. Coming together pretty good. It's about five o'clock in the morning right now. Uh, I'm a little exhausted, but let's see if we can't finish this or at least get halfway through. So now that I was finally at the tail end of this thing, literally, I still had a good idea of using that bottom fin to kind of open up into arms in order to grab the asteroid and hold it in place. It'd be sort of like a little work area, and so there'd be lights. Um, I could imagine, like, arms coming out and grabbing the asteroid and the drills coming out. And I, I, I was trying to figure out where to put the drills and then it dawned on me to put it on the very top. So it's kind of like it grabs it and then the drills come out on top and drill into it. And it just kind of sits there and turns into a, the whole ship turns into a station in a sense. So then it kind of, it, it, it all came together really kind of interesting because it's like, it's a ship, right? It's a mining vessel. But when it grabs onto an asteroid and begins mining operations, it transforms, it blossoms into this, into this mining space station. It's got power, it's got the solar panels pop out of it, it kind of blooms in a sense. And I even probably want to put like a shuttlecraft on it, something that flies around and, you know, or could grab on to the uh, asteroid and tow it in or whatever the case may be but it's a ship station or it's a station that's a ship it's a ship that's a station i don't know but the concept is really cool it's a ship and then it turns into a station it's i thought that was kind of neat how that how that came together Well, 
everyone. Um, not quite finished yet. There's a bunch of things I want to do with it, but it's looking really good for a very heavy, large mining craft. It's looking pretty cool. And the fact that it kind of opens up into a station around it, uh, around them, like a, the, the asteroid will be right here. And this, the engines, everything closes up and it looks like a freaking station, uh, is going to be really cool. And when it's done mining the hell out of the asteroid, it lets it go. It folds back up into a, into a interplanetary spaceship and then goes on to its next victim or something of that nature. So really cool, really, really cool concept idea. I'm loving it. Um, I'm going to put batteries in here and RCS and all sort of good stuff. Um, I'm even thinking about putting like a little mini shuttle or something of that nature if there is room and if I have time. But yeah, it's coming together real nice. All right. Well, everyone, that's it for now. I'll see you again bright and early tomorrow morning. And um, yeah, this is going to be nice. I'm tired as hell right now, but this is going to be nice. <laughs> all right. Later, everybody. Love you all. Stay safe. Bye-bye. Share, like, and subscribe. Yeah, I paid the fool. Bleh.